Okay, brings me to Honda, and uh, there again, like I said about Toyota, I think Honda has definitely deserved their reputation as a quality automaker. I think they're great cars. Uh, for the most part, they've had their problems, so we'll cover a few of those. Um, Honda's, like Toyota's, you know, it's a challenge to find a good one for not a whole lot of money. Usually you have to buy one that's got a lot of miles on it. But they're real nice driving cars. I know there's people that would never buy a foreign car, but, you know, if you come out of a Chevy or a old Buick Century or, you know, something like that and go into Honda, you probably won't ever go back. But I love Hondas. So let me get that out of the way first. I really like Hondas. Uh, Hondas, you know, Honda, both Honda and Toyota, if you're reading their names, are called Honda Motor Company and Honda, Honda Motor Company and Toyota Motor Company. And that reason is they started out building engines. That's what they did. And then they got into building cars. So for that reason, Hondas have had excellent engines. Uh, the only problem, though, is Hondas are not known for good transmissions. Uh, there's been several, several models of Hondas that have had automatic transmission problems through the late 90s and early 2000s. And it's unusual because Honda automatic transmissions, if you know much about automatics, you kind of know how they're designed. They have an input shaft, an output shaft, and they have just one single shaft pretty much going through. It is split, but in essence, it's on one single plane going through the unit. And it has a torque converter on one end, output shaft on the other. And it's got an oil pump, and then it's got, uh, it's got clutch packs, which is several wet clutches stacked together and it's got a planetary gear set in it which a planetary gear set if you look at it from where the shaft would go through of it it's basically this carrier which is a metal piece and it has these little four or five little gears in them which rotate so it's a little compact little arrangement there that's how you get it you know that's how you get your different speed you need to if you want to know more about that you know just look into automatic transmission theory but Honda is a little bit different in the way they design their automatic transmissions. They're more like a manual. They have like two or three different shafts in the unit, and they have clutch packs and they have a torque converter. And but they actually have like a large gear looks a lot like a manual. They don't use planetaries in them, at least the older ones in them. So that's why they kind of if you ever drive a Honda automatic, they kind of make when you back them up in reverse. My I had an 05 Honda. It was the same way. You back up and it makes that same kind of sound like a manual. And they whine a little bit more, but that's why. But they've had numerous problems in their transmissions. The 98 through 02 Honda Accord transmission automatics, they were actually, some of them were recalled for leaks. And then some of them uh, evidently had problems with the part inside the transmission was chrome plated or chromium plated and it was flaked off and stopped up the passages and burnt the transmission up. Uh, so there are a lot of them have been replaced and rebuilt. Uh, if you're thinking about one of those cars you either need to get a five speed or you need to get if you can't or don't want to drive a five speed you need to get one that you know the transmission's just been replaced in. I would not recommend any other Accord of that year. The older Accords seem to be fine. Uh, the Civics, like the 2000 through the 2003 or so Civic Automatics, they actually had problems with them too, and that was pretty much has been traced back to the torque converter. The torque converter, with a lock-up torque converter, has like a clutch facing in it, and it's got material on it like any clutch does, and evidently that stuff starts flaking off over time, and it stops the filter in the transmission up, and then it burns the, burns the transmission up because you lose all your fluid pressure. Uh, and the problem with that is Honda designed that transmission so that you could not replace the filter without breaking the whole unit apart. That was stupid. But uh, So I'd be very wary about buying an 0, uh, 2000 through a, probably an 03 or 04 Civic for that reason. I'd buy a 5 speed. Uh, the newer Accords and the newer Civics after those years seemed to be pretty bulletproof. I had that 05 and it had 200,000 miles on it and I had no transmission problems whatsoever. Transmission was a 5-speed automatic 
and it worked very nicely. So I would recommend one of those. Uh, if you're gonna buy an Accord, I'd probably recommend a four cylinder over a V6 because it seems like V6s kill the transmission faster. Uh, van, the same deal. You need to, I don't know if I'd buy one of those you used of that year. But overall, I think Hondas are good cars. They've managed to not have any major engine problems that I'm aware of. No head gasket problems, more than normal. No, uh, no sludging problems. And now you need to remember a Honda is uh, a Honda is an interference engine, and up through the uh, like the 03 Accord and up through the 06 Civic. They were all time of belt engines, so you have to keep a time of belt serviced on those, for sure. Anyway, I would give a Honda, if you buy one with the right transmission or a good rebuilt transmission, and you know it doesn't have problems, I would actually give one of those two thumbs up. So, And there's a lot of them running around, and you can find one cheap. So, if you look. So, okay.